What is the most how trying to tell us? To what? Come back to him. Turn back to him and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. We're not doing that. That's why we have these brothers standing out here with me have to come out here every Sabbath and show you who you are according to the Bible. So they're called West Indian Black because that's the name that the, the nation put on them when they came over here, when they came over here on those slave ships. Bring it out! That's in the Bible, right? You know slavery's in the Bible? Yes, I do. You do? You know what chapter and what book? Oh, uh, I can't remember, but I read my Bible. I'm a true believer of God. You're a true believer of God. Right, so you believe? What do you believe? I believe in God. I walk by faith. I don't walk by sight. I believe the Lord. I praise the Lord each and every day. The Lord, not only for me, but my family and everybody else. I'm a true believer. You have to have a personal relationship with God. Okay, you and say... Hold on. You say you have a personal relationship with God. You believe. What day you go to church? Bring it up. You know, I don't. No, I'm I asking go, you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you how it is. I go, I used to go to church, but I don't go to church. But I have put to myself, church is in my heart. Okay, on what day do you go to church when you do go? On Sunday. On Sunday. Is that, is that what the Bible teaches? No. Okay, so why do you go on Sunday? Oh. Uh, because that's what I was rolling up with. That's what your oppressor taught you to do, right? right? Exactly. Right. So who's your oppressor? Uh, the family that I raised up under. No. Your oppressor according to how you learn Christianity. Did you learn that from your mother and father? Or was yes, that yes. put on you right. through, through the nation? Right. Through my mother and father. You said you believe. I got something for you on belief. Okay. Right? <clears throat> Sirach chapter 32 verse 24. Bro. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. So you say you believe, but what I you say do you keep, believe? You say you believe, you strongly believe, but do you keep God's commandments? Right. No, no, I don't. I can't sit here and tell it because I am, I, I can't, no, I don't keep it all the time. But you said you believe. I believe. Well, right. So read it again. Sirach chapter 32, verse 24. Read it out. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed. To the commandment. It says, he that believes in the Lord takes heed to the commandments. So you say you went to church on Sunday. That's not according to the commandments, right? So if you're not keeping the commandments, then what are you doing? I'm not doing it. Right. You're not doing what thus says the Bible, right? Right. So what, I'm going to give you, I'm going to ask you this. You say you go on Sunday, right? I said I used to go. used to go on Sunday, right? You say when you go, you normally go on Sunday. But that's not the day you're supposed to go, right? No. But you, no, yes or no? I don't know. That's you, why I'm here. That's you don't know. Here okay, we're gonna teach you what that's day you're supposed I'm, to go. That's why I'm here. What day you're supposed to keep the 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 Sabbath on? Right. Bring it up. Exodus chapter twenty verse eight. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So it says the seventh day that's is the Lord. Sabbath of the of the Lord. What day is the Sabbath? The Sunday. No. What six day? Six days. Count six days. Count. Count from Monday to Saturday to Friday. Count from Sunday to Friday. That's no. Monday to Saturday. That's six no. Days. You're right. So the seventh day is what? Is another day. No. The seventh day is what? If you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's six. Sunday. So, I mean, start as a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's, that's, the, that's the, se the seventh, seventh day. day. The, seventh the seventh day is the when you keep day. the Sabbath. That's sundown on Friday night to sundown on Saturday night. Right. So yeah. why is it taught that we go on Sunday? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm here because I'm I'm trying to find out, but I do know a little. But I'm glad I'm here. So, so what I'm showing you, so what I'm showing you is that you're taught Matthew, Matthew 15. So what I'm showing you is that you've been taught by this society, right? That Sunday is the day that you go right. to exactly. church, right? Exactly. That's what your parents taught you, right? Exactly. So somebody had to teach them. And who, that, who was that that taught them? The other That's nations that. taught us that. Other nations taught us that Sunday was the Sabbath, right? Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 2. Yeah. Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? So, by the tradition of men. That's why 
He was speaking to the Pharisees right there. He was saying, to, why do you transgress what? The commandment of God by your tradition. So they're doing things traditionally. You were traditionally taught how to keep the Sabbath on Sunday. Right. We're telling you today that the Sabbath is on Saturday. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 569. Sunday, the first day of the week. Sunday is what? First day of the week. Commemorating the resurrection of Jesus. Sunday is the first day of the week. So you say you go to church on Sunday, right? Normally when you go, you go on Sunday, right? But the Bible telling you Sunday is the first day of the week, right? But Saturday is the seventh day. Right. So that's the end of the week, right? Right. Right. So you say Saturday is the seventh day, right? So why don't you go on the seventh day? You told us why you go on Sunday. Why don't you go on Saturday? Because, you know, because, okay, I have, I have, what you call them? Um, they said never let, uh, what they are, um, not the Baptist, the Baptist, but the, uh, what's the other one? The uh, listen, listen to this, listen to this. Thing. The Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Read up. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Because you've never been taught that, sis. They've never taught you, taught you that in church that Sabbath is Saturday. Sunday is I've the first day of the week. Sunday is Sunday the second day. No, that's right. You were taught, taught you were taught wrong in reverse. Right. You were taught backwards. See, that's how they do. They tell you one thing, they give you a song and dance, you run around and jump around on yeah, Sunday. I, I right? from them too. You, you understand what I'm saying? You run around on Sunday, and you get a, uh, one scripture and run around for an hour. Right. And then give them your money and leave and say you went to church. Right. You're going to learn more here today than you ever learned in the, all the years that you went to church. Right. That's right. right. You're going to learn today. You're going to get these scripts. All right? Read that again. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Read out. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So Kate, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Right. So you say you believe, read your Bible every day. You, you, you have faith in the Lord, right? Right. Do you love the Lord? What is love? Love is, love to be is, I love God. Love is by God. Love what does the Bible say that love is? Faith. No, what, what is love according to the Bible? Bring it out. Bring it out. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep, it keep his commandments. So, Read it God. again from the top. Listen. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. To love is to keep his the most high commandments. Right? Right. So right. if you love him, keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. Right? right? You understand that? Mm -hmm. You sure? I'm sure. So his commandments. If you, if you keep his commandments... You got to do, it's something that you have to do. You know what that is? You, okay, say so you come to the most high and you say, hey, I live a wicked life. I'm going to change. So what's that call? You want to, when you want to change, what's that call? If I want to change, I have to go by his command. Right, but what is that call? It's a word. Start with an R. <coughs> something you have to do. To... I'm learning. I don't care. I don't, I don't right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I don't. I don't I'm gonna show you. I'm learning. I'm gonna show you. Teach me. I got all the time. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Bring it out. Oh. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So, what does it mean to <coughs> repent? Repent is to re uh, repent is to read. Oh, it's right on my tongue. The devil it's to change. Repent is to change. change right? That's like doing a a, one, a 180. So you living wickedly facing this way, right? You turn around and go that way, are you still turned this way? No. Because you change, right? Right. It means to change. It means to convert. Convert means, means to change. To turn around and change. That means you change your life, right. right? So you said we taught you who you are. You said you love Christ. That's right. We asked you what the love was, right? Now you know what love, love is, and is you know what the Sabbath is, right? It's keeping his commandments, right? That's right. So that's something that you have to do still. Right? Even though you repent, what else you have to do? I have to believe, I have to repent and 
I'm learning. Right, okay, I'm gonna show I you something that your, your church never taught you. You never knew this. Well, I'm gonna show you something. Listen. Finish Acts. Yeah. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Read it up. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That your what may be blotted out? Yes. That your sins may be blotted out. That's the change. You stop sinning. You understand? Right. Right. I'm gonna show you a simple commandment that your church never taught you. Read it up. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man what do women wear that pertains to men bring it up um, that convokes uh, that draw man's attention or no what article of clothing do women wear that belongs to men pants pants you got it right read Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you see these brothers now running around in dresses and skirts, right? Right? But you got on what they wear. Right. Do you supposed to do that? No. According to the Bible, no, right? Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. What's an abomination unto the Lord? Says? What does it mean to be abominable? Abominable is being faith, have faith. No, no, no. About what teaching? No, it's a what detestable teaching? thing. The most high Well, I'm learning. This is like a child, like a newborn right, child. Right, right. We're going to teach you. That's what we're doing. We're teaching you I'm that. You shouldn't me. wear what? You shouldn't wear pants, right? Wear pants. So you should have on a skirt or a dress. Right. Modestly, right? You got to dress modestly, though. Right? You understand? Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you what an abomination is. Sirach so chapter 15, verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hateth all abomination. And they that fear God love it not. They that fear God hates to do the opposite of what the Most High say. Do you have dresses at home, sis? Yes, I do. So you should go home, put on a dress, and come right. back. If you live close, you you want you want to prove the Most High that you that you really mean what you say. Go home, put on that dress, and come back out. That's right. right. That if you want to prove the Most High right, bro, you want to prove prove that you truly changed. Go home, put on that dress, and come back. Modest, modest dress is not no tight revealing dress. Modest dress. Right. So, yeah, get that. So, what we out here doing is teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. That's right. right. So, in doing so, we have to show our people. We ain't yelling at people out here. We ain't being ignorant. Right. Who tell So, so we out here showing our people who they are according to the Bible, but. We got people out here that don't want to listen. Now that's okay. We still gonna we still gonna bring it up. Right. Regardless. Right. Yeah. So in doing so, if you brother standing over there, come on over here. We can teach you. We can teach you, bro. I know you can hear, but come close. With the up close and personal, bro. Right? When you get when you get ready to get in that other brother's face, you ain't standing on the other side of the street. Right. Right? Just come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is what? Is perfect. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. The laws convert you. It makes you perfect. Hey, bro. What's your name, brother? Benjamin. Benjamin? I'm Nehemiah, bro. What y'all dealing with? We're dealing with our people, showing them who they are according to the Bible. Who is, look, right. who look. is it? According to the Bible? According to the Bible, yes. Look, but look. you know, you know, the Bible dealing with, you know, I, I studied the Bible, I studied a lot of things in my life. Okay. I did 20 years in the penitentiary, well, you know. Okay, I understand. So that. I'm, I'm a person that, that travel and deal with everything. Okay. But you dealing with something that got a birth record, so, you know, can be toppled with or everything. So when you're dealing with doubt, you know, I mean, give me a question on that. So your, your point is what? I mean, the point is, I mean, what I just said. Is, they got a birth record. But you asked me what we were with. teaching. I told you, you we were teaching. I told you we were teaching the Bible. Yes, sir. And you say you've been in prison for 20 years. Yes, Brothers out here that's been in yes, prison yes, before. I mean, right? What I we're trying to show you is who you are yeah, according yeah. to the Bible. That's right. Right? Bring it up. Look on the side, bro. Hey, bro. Look on the side. You see your, yourself on the side? It's 12 tribes. Judah all the way down to Naphtali. Which, 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 where you fall at on the side? Are you a so-called oh, shade of black? What shade of black? Shade of black. There's many shades of black. There's many shades of black. Right. So, show me black in the Bible. Show me black in the Bible. Yeah. Tell me, is that black in the Bible? Is it in the Bible? You seen it? Yeah, it's in there. I'm asking you if you know it's I in know, there. I know it's in. You never show, seen show, it? Let me read it to you. 
The Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. I'm what? I am black. But comely. So black is in the Bible, right? right. So, yeah, you see, you see, you see. Wait, hey, it's okay, it's okay. We're here to teach you, bro. In the Bible, see, you ever been to church? Yes, sir. I was born you, in the church. You was born in the church, but, but they never. Um, can I ask you a question? But like, so the the the, the God that we uh that they show uh Jesus that they show, you know, he's not black. Right. So. Right, he's not. Did you know? Did you know that that's in the Bible? What color he is? What color Christ is, is in the Bible? Did you know that was in the Bible? No, no. Did you know the color of Christ is in the Bible? Bring it out! The color of Christ is in the Bible? It's in the Bible. Bring it out! Right? You didn't know that? Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out! His head and his hairs were white like wool. Do that sound like stringy hair like th that you just described? I mean, yeah. I Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes was a flame of fire. His head and his hair, the hair on his head, and the hair on his beard was white. And his eyes were a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Okay, let me back up for a second. It says his eyes were red. Okay, when you drink, right? What color do your eyes turn? Red. Red, right? So it's not saying that he had fire coming out of his eyes. It's saying that his eyes turned red because what? Because he did what? Right. Right. That's it. You know that's in the Bible. Read that. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Read it out. Read it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes will be red with wine. See, his eyes is red. His hair is white. His beard is white, his skin is brown. You see that? So that's in the Bible, bro. So that's something that your church don't teach you. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Bring it out. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, bro? Brass brown. Brown, right? As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take anything, you start throwing in a fire. What color does it turn? Brown. Well. Black. What black, exactly. So the Christ is what? Black. Black is a black man from the hey, time hey, of Jesus. That's right. You understand that? What is this right here? Hold on, hold on one second. I'll answer that. Hold on. Read this. John chapter 14, verse 8. Look it out. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. So if you see Christ, guess who else you see? The Most High, right? Right. So they, he looks just like his Father. That's Nobody's right. Saying, Nobody's never seen Christ when it's recorded in the Bible that he was seen, right? By over by 70 and then another time by 500, right? So what was your question? You said you had a question. I'm looking at this right here, this picture right here. But you say, I see what you said, say image of the beast. The image of the beast is who? Who is that talking about? Okay. Who? You talking about Caucasians? Caucasians, right. So you know. You have some knowledge, bro. You know what you need to do now? You need to repent, bro. You need to repent, right? How do you repent? Let me ask you that. How do you repent? First Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Bring it out. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives. So he said, if we were to bethink ourselves, what does it mean to bethink? Be thank. Yeah, to be thank. Be thank is. It means to remember, right? To remember. In the land, what? In the land whither they were carried captives. What we were carried captive to? Were we brought here on cargo slave ship? Were we brought to this land on slave ships? We were, right? That's what they say. That's what they say. You didn't know that? You didn't know that we came over here on cargo slave ship? Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixteen. Let me, let me give you this, bro. We'll get back to what we were just talking about. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said he'll bring us into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there 
ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. So he said, what he said, that's the King James Bible. King James. Not, not, not the new King James, the King James Bible, right? Read, make sure you, make sure you're reading the King James, right? All right, so what we're showing you that how we came over here on cargo slave seals. You said you didn't know, right? We came over here on cargo slave seals to do, and what happened? Sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So what is the Most High trying to tell us? To what? Come back to him. Turn back to him and keep these laws, that's and commandments. We're not doing that. That's why we have these brothers standing out here with me have to come out here every Sabbath and show you who you are according to the Bible. Right, Read that right. from the top again. If my people, which are called by my name. So his people that is called by his name, these people that live in these ghettos, the people that live in this project, all the Israelites, but they don't know it. That's why we are here. Out. Shall humble themselves. Shall, and, shall humble themselves. And what? And pray. And seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Right. See, we've lost our way. So he said, turn their faces to him and seek him. Read. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So, what we're showing you is how to come back. Right. We're calling you out of your houses to come out here and hear us. Listen to us. Get this understanding. Right. Instead of sitting over on the side playing cards and, and, and throwing dice and whatever right. you may be doing. Come out here and hear us. Come get this knowledge. Right. James chapter 4 verse 10. Read up. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. So humble yourselves in the sight of the, the Most High in his prophets. And he shall lift you up. So humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. The Most High is calling you. Hey brother. Hey brother. He ain't paying attention. So what we're doing is teaching our people. You gonna hear us out here until until Christ come back. We're out here to teach you that you are the true children of the Most High. That's right. 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 What you got? So so in oh, Hosea point six. Bring it out. The book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we don't have the knowledge anymore. So we are here giving our people the knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because we have reject, rejected the most high. He's returned to his place because we're, we're in, in the midst of sin. We're out here to bring you out of that sin. What's he, he's returned to his place. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place. So the most high turn away from us because of what? Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge that our sins and do what? And seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So in our affliction, we seek him early. We're coming back. We're slowly coming back to the most high. 17, 24. So we're, what we're telling you is to come back. You're going to hear all of us say that. Come back to these laws that and commandments. Keep these laws and commandments. Today is the Sabbath, not tomorrow. Today, right. it's yep. the day, it's the Lord's uh, Sabbath day. Right. We got to learn to keep that. That's, we're going to come out here and teach you according to the Bible. Right. That's right. Sarah, chapter 17, verse 24. Bring it out. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. So we have to learn to repent. If we don't learn how to repent, we can't return. Read. And comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Return unto the Lord and turn away from sin. That's what the scriptures is telling us to do. So we're teaching you repentance. Even though you're not over here in front of us, you still can hear my voice over the style speaker. We're telling you to come back, repent.
So, repentance is something, it's, a, it's an action word. If you don't take that action, you won't repent. If you don't stop smoking them cigarettes, pot, and all that other stuff, you'll never change. Right. The book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9. Bring it up. If we confess our sins, we have to confess our sins. That's what we don't do. We go to church on Sunday, do a song and dance, and think that we've repented. We've done nothing. He is faithful and just to forgive. So if you come to the Most High, he'll forgive you of your sin. If not, there's no change. You have to repent. Hey, sister, you come over and talk to us for a second. Come on over, sis. We, you got a second, don't you? got five minutes. We'll show you a little, uh, something that you need to know. Right. Right? So what we're doing is we're going to continue to teach our people regardless. Come hell or high water, we still going to do it. Right. We're right. going to always teach our people to bring them back to the Most High so the Most High can come back so we right. can go home. I'm right. tired of this place. I'm right. ready to go home. Right. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go home. Right. Bring it up. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. Bring it up. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Sis, if you are faithful and just and confess your sins, the most high will change you. He'll make a difference. Like, sis, what's your name? Vivian. Vivian? Uh -huh. What's your nationality? Huh? What's your race? My race? Yeah. White, black. So what, what's your father? Was your father a black man? Yeah. Is a black man? So so-called Afro-American, right? Uh-huh. So on the side right here, he will be from, you can come around. So on the side, you will be from the tribe of Judah. Right? American black. That's you, right? You retired or what? You retired from your job? No, I got sick and I had to stop working. Okay. Okay, but... When you fill out the application, when you fill out the application, all oh, praise to the Most High. The sister did what we asked her, what the Most High told her to do. She went home, put on a dress, and came back. So that tells you that that sister changed. You see what that sister did, sister? That's an example for you. Right? All oh, praise sister. You got your head covered and everything. That's, that's, that makes the Most High happy. I think he says, what's well, one? If one, con if one say, uh, converts. The angels are rejoicing over you right now, right? All right. So, see, you see what you said. That's your example right there. So your neighbor. Okay. So you gotta do the same thing she did, right? So we're gonna show you the same thing we show her, right? You know. So you know who you are according to the Bible, right? Right. So you're from the tribe of Judah. Who else is from that tribe? No. Hebrews chapter seven, verse fourteen. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 Bring it up. For it is evident that our It is evident What? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah So it's evident that our Hey Sister Vivian It's evident that our Lord <coughs> sprang out of Judah What does it mean it is evident? What does that mean? When you go to Judah When you used to watch Never the TV God, show God. They said we got What to prove that somebody did something They got evidence right? So it says what? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah, the same tribe that Christ came from, you come from that tribe as well, right? right. So what color is Christ? What color is Christ? Hold on. You, go, you used to go to church? Yeah. They didn't ever teach you that in church? What you saw a white you saw a white Jesus in the church on the on the no, wall? Nobody knows. Nobody knows? No. Is that in the Bible? No. It's not. Listen, listen to this. Revelation chapter one verse one. Bring it up. Revelation chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The, the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does revelation mean? It means to reveal. reveal. It means to reveal. Right? which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So the Most High is showing Thank John the Revelator something. He's showing John the Revelator something. Right? And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So he's showing John something. He's showing him something, right? Read. Who bear record of the word of God. 
So when to, when you bear record of something, what what are you doing? When you when you bear record of something, what are you doing? Back, uh, if not inventory, but I'm writing down what you're writing down something that's yeah, happening, that's right? Happening. Right. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that He saw. So He's showing him something. So John sees something. Go down to verse 14. So He's showing him something, right? Read verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You said nobody never like saw wolves. Christ. You said, but you it. said nobody never yeah, saw but Christ. I heard of it. I didn't believe it though. But you didn't believe it. No. You didn't read the Bible, right? I heard of it. No, I didn't. Right. So he said his his head and his hairs were what? Like wool. White like wool. See? As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes were a flame of fire. What does that mean, sis? So it's a big, what does that mean? Eyes of flame of fire, that mean? Eyes of flame of fire, that mean? So when you drink, what color do your eyes see? Red. Okay, so it's, he didn't have blazes of fire coming out of his eyes. He had what? He had what kind of eyes? Flames of eyes. Uh, he had red eyes, right? Red. Read that in Genesis. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Read up. His eyes shall be red with wine. So it says his eyes shall be red with wine. So that means Christ drank wine. His eyes turn red, right? Go back to Revelation. Right? You understand, baby? You understand? Right? But you were never taught that in church, right? What did they tell you in church? They gave you a song and a dance. You ran around, right? And you gave your money away and then you was broke. Didn't pay your bills, right? His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. So and it says that his feet as a fine brass. Look at your feet. And look at your, look at your hands. Are they the same color? Yes. Well, that tells you what? That's the same as the Lord. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take anything and you toss it into a fire, what, what, what color does it turn? No. Out there it burns. What colors? No. What, look at your sock. Black. Anything you throw in the fire turns what? Black. So what color is Christ? Black. Right. So all these years you thought he was the, that white man on this picture right here. See that picture down there? Down there on the corner where he got his hand folded. Right yeah. That's what you've been seeing all your life. Right? Even when you pray. I guarantee you when you pray, that's the same thing you see. You see that white man. But we're telling you it's a... That's a depiction over there on your left of what the Christ eyes, looks like. The eyes of the eyes what he looks like. Red. That's a depiction of what he looks like. But you're used to seeing this, and I guarantee you when you close I'm your eyes, that's what you see yeah. right there. Right? So what we're showing you, that's not Christ. Right. 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 That's no. Christ on the right over that's there. Right. That's, that's right. right. Christ on the right. So that means you look like who? You look just like him, right? That's right. From the tribe of Judah, right? right. Which is the first tribe, right? Right. right? You understand? So what we're saying... Yeah, get that. Color, we're going to show you. Did you know that was color in the Bible? Is there a color in the Bible? Vivi, is that color in the Bible? No. No? no? Well, what we just read? The eyes of color, the eyes of red. What well. color was his skin? Black. So, is color in the Bible? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, I oh, yes, it is. Acts chapter 21, verse 37. Bring it on. And as Paul was led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee, who said, Kenneth not, Kenneth, thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian, which before these days made us an uproar? So what color were the Egyptians? Uh, they were black, right? Yeah, right? I so he says, he says, Art thou that thou an Egyptian? He was talking to a Greek. The Greeks were considered white at that time. Right? Greek. Uh, verse 38 Art not thou that Egyptian Which before these days Made us an uproar And led us out into the wilderness Four thousand men that were murderers Right So he said what color, And I ask you what color are the Egyptians Right They are black right They were considered black So it's color in the Bible Right We're talking about Paul What color Paul was right Right You, you know who Paul is you said you read the Bible, sis. I do, but 
See, that's why I'm down here so I can learn more so about So you can learn the right way, right? right? That's right. why you exactly. came back, right? So exactly. That's what, gonna, that's what we're going to teach you. We're going to teach you the right way. Read that. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Bring it out. I say then, had God cast away his people, God forbid. So it says, had God forgotten who his people are? No. God forbid, right? For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. He said something earlier. Benjamin, West Indies, black. Right. He said, what did Paul say? For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So you asked about er earlier. Benjamin. Benjamin is, that's Paul. Paul came oh, from that Paul. tribe. Huh? Paul came from that tribe. We're showing you, according to the Bible, who you are, right? He was also confused as an Egyptian, right? When we read the scripture earlier, they thought he was an Egyptian, but he's a what? He's a what? West Indian black, but an That's Israelite, right. an Israelite, right? Right. So, so, on color, I'm going to give you a couple more scriptures on get songs and songs. On color, right? You said, at first you said that was color wasn't in the Bible, right? But now you see that color is in the Bible. So that you see that now that you've been taught wrong all these years. Right. Right? You see that? Read. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Read out. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Solomon says, I am black, but comely. Black, but comely, what does that mean? Comely is, I am black, uh, comely of these. Black, but comely means he's beautiful. beautiful. That means he's beautiful. He's a handsome man. Read. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar. As the tents of Kedar. If you ever been to the Middle East, and some of us out here have been, those tents are black, right? That's what he's telling you. He's that dark. Yeah, they're very dark black. They're very dark in color, right? So color is in the Bible. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino teens. A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman who was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man found was shot and killed in the car. Just three days after the, the police had placed her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up.
playing around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our fault, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.